hello hello students welcome back to my channel so today in this video as you can see uh, i will explain chapter 7 more about ms access so microsoft access and in this uh, video i will explain you practically so let's see the computer screen now as you can see you can go directly to this option here so you can click this or you can go to the all program option so you can go to all programs then you find out microsoft office as you can see here and then click on the office access 2007 so this option you will click so as you click this the office program will open so wait till the program opens and then you will see this blank database option so you can click on this blank database option and you will see in the right side corner here you will see database that is the file name you have to mention now you can write any file name whatever you want but be careful if you are writing the same database name then you will get this message as you can see here so if the database name is used earlier so in that case you can just do no and then you just change the data file name and then create so as you will create the press the create button you will get this screen you can go to the create option now we will try to create the table so you can click on the table then here uh, you have to decide what you what you want to write what what are the contents or what database you want to make so i will just make a database of student details okay so here i am writing the name amit and then i am writing the class then you can write here the section roll number whatever you want okay so roll number here and then we have section so in this way we can mention this is the detail of one first so in this way you can go on inserting as many as detail you want okay so i'll just show you with two or three details okay i'll just write this second detail so i'm just taking the names now the next thing is that we have to change the field name okay so here field name we will change so this is the field then we can change the name here like this you can do right click over it okay right click then you will get this change option and then you can just type same thing right click rename column you rename it so in this way you will rename the columns and then you will click this button okay close button and then you will press the yes to save it okay to save it you will press the close button there and then you just write the table name whatever table name you want to give giving student and then click on the ok button then you will see in the left side this one you will double click and you will get the output here so this is how you will create the table now we have created the table now let's create form ok so how to create you have to go to the create option then you will create on click on the form and then this is done your form is created so whatever you enter here it will be recorded in the table also so you can do entries here and to save it you have to click this close button so click on the close button you will get this option do you want to save you do yes and then write give the form name click ok now you can do double click to open the form and here you can click to next do next ok so their options are there below buttons are there you can click so in this way you can create the form and you, if you do any entry here so you, you can see these entries will be 
saved in the table also. So in this way after doing the entry you can press the close button and then you can do double click and see in the table or you can double click and open the form also. So in this way if you see here all the entries will be available. So if you do entries here that entries will be available in the table also. I will try to do some entries and I will show you. let us see the table now this is the table which I have done after the entry ok so after input I have done input in the form this is close you can close the form also now let us try so you can see here this is the form and table in the left side now we try to create report so what you have to do just click on this report option so as you will click on this you will see your report is ready so in this way if datas are there in the left side right side you can drag next you can go to this close button and when you click there this option you will get you want to save your report you do yes and then write whatever name you want to give to your report so i am giving student report click ok so you will see here in the left side your student report by this created now we will try to create report using report wizard okay so in your book also it is given so we will try you will see the steps here after selecting okay after selecting the uh, report wizard here we will select the table queries or table fields okay so that is the first option you can see in your book so we will select the required fields after selecting we will click on next then this is grouping okay so here we will we can group our field okay so whatever field we have we can do grouping so if, if it is if not required if you don't want you can press directly to the next option okay so you can click directly next option and in the next option you have sort and summarize so here you can do ascending descending order if you want to make any changes or you want to do any changes in your table you, you can do here otherwise you can go to next option next you will get the layout and orientation option so this is columnar so if you click columnar it will become like this if you click on tabular so like table format and if you click on justify so here you can see these are the three options available I will take tabular and I will click next after that you will get the title and this one the styles okay so whatever style you want whichever style you want that one you can select and then you can click on next okay then you can click uh, create here title title of your table or title of the report you can see okay so here title of the report so after clicking on the title of the report can go to the finish option and you can see so this is the final output of your report so as you can see here this is report 2 and this is the final output so after using the report wizard you are going to get in this way your table uh, report will be in that way and if you are not using so your report will be I will just show you this one so if you are not using the report wizard this is how you will get the output and if you are using the report wizard then you will get this output so with this i end my video so thank you so much for watching
and at the end i am giving you some question answers of this chapter so this i have already uploaded but if you have missed that video you can note it down from here and thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and share with your friends thank you so much once again for watching my videos